You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Queen Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings, Anna's Path. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos, one of which is already out now. Y'all, we're hard at work on the second one. Um, we're, the, we're, uh, we're, we're going to be doing Dawn Chorus, so anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Is this going to be a sexy night with Anna? Maybe. Actually, yes, uh, you could say so. Interesting. What's in it for me? Hey, I already agreed to your tests. I'm not sure what else I could offer you. Besides, I'm working with the police, so your cooperation would be greatly appreciated. Oh, you're working for our police? Now you really have my attention. I want to see where you're going with this, so by all means, go ahead. Uh... I'm the last time you saw alive. I saw him yesterday evening. There were some tests I needed to run overnight, so instead of staying late to set them up, I had Damien do it. That's what colleagues are for, right? Can you tell me what happened when you found him? I might have left early yesterday, but I made up for it by becoming in early today, before anyone else. That's why I was the one to that's why I was the one to find him. I was on my way to my office when I saw him lying in the middle of the hallway in a puddle of his own blood. What was your relationship to him? We were colleagues, nothing more. I heard that you didn't particularly like him. Yeah, but that's not, not unusual. I don't like most people. He really didn't like me, though. Why's that? He was jealous of my success, and it showed. You seem very calm for someone whose college was just murdered. And people die every day. It's a simple fact of life. Besides, I don't see you crying about him either. I didn't know him that well, so it's not like someone I actually cared about died. Well, it stops spinning for no one. Life goes on, and for me, that means being without an assistant for a while. That's all. That'll be all. Thank you, Anna. My pleasure. Time to head back. You interrogated Anna. Well done, Keegan. Wait, I thought I was getting more out of that. Before deciding my next move, I returned to my apartment for a moment of rest. A small piece of paper had slipped under my door while I was gone. Don't go to the portal, was all it said. I considered the possibility of a hidden message, but that was unlikely. The statement was blunt and quickly scrawled. Someone clearly didn't want me to go to the portal, but why would go there in the first? Why would I go there in the first place? As it was out of the order right now, not such an action would serve no purpose. I looked outside the window, with the portal's faint silhouette in the distance. The paper, the paper rustled between my fingers as I fidgeted with it, wondering about the message's sender and significance. My train of thought was violently interrupted by a sharp burst of gunfire echoing from the portal. I had to think fast. The gunshots ensured Rez's involvement. He was at the portal. The question was, why? If this was his attempt to flee back to the human world, he would receive a rather unpleasant surprise the moment he would try to use the portal. Or maybe Sebastian's theory was correct and Reza held the part needed to repair the portal, in which case his escape could be imminent. The gunshots themselves are another question. Was someone trying to stop him? The police patrol may have seen him, and he may have been taken by surprise. This could be another murder in progress. But all of his murders were committed with a sharp weapon before now, not a gun. He didn't want to be heard. Besides, it was only early evening, and the town was still bustling. If Reza wanted to stay hidden, he was doing a rather poor job at it. Of course, there was also the possibility that he wanted to be heard, but who would, want he, who would he want to attract? The police? Maverick? It could easily be a trap for those hunting him, and that technically included me, though I wasn't sure if he knew of my involvement in the investigation. There was also a very real possibility that he knew my apartment was close enough to the portal to hear a gunshot. Could it be a signal for me? Regardless, the words I held in my, the words I had in my, held, I held in my hands were unmistakable. Don't go to the portal. What should I do? Stay inside and call the police. You know, like a smart person. Ultimately, I trusted the mysterious message. Remy's list of phone numbers given to me when he brought when he brought me to his apartment in the first place proved to be a valuable tool. I dialed the emergency line and was greeted by a calm voice asking me about my emergency. The gravity of the situation was understood, and I was advised to stay inside until further notice. A team was dispatched to deal with the situation while I waited. From my window, I tried to catch a glimpse of what was going on at the portal, but I couldn't see much. The dark of the night was fast approaching. About an hour later, I was informed the team had searched the perimeter, though no trace of Reza was found. I was given the go-ahead to continue with my investigation, but I was free to stay there, stay where I was if I felt unsafe. Uh... There you go. Water time. I am... 
to the store. Yeah, let's go to the store. <laughs> oh, it's her again. If you've, uh, if you've mixed up the prescriptions again, then I can't help you. I can't refill this one. We're just about to close, so you'll have to bring the right one tomorrow. Oh. Hello again, Keegan. How can I help you? Actually, I'm just about to close up here, so please make it quick. I'm here by half the police, and I was hoping that you could answer a few questions. I see. Well, I don't mind as long as you make it quick. I have to leave for my other job soon. Farrah, what are you still doing here? I already told you. You have to come back tomorrow. Here, have a lolly on the house. Oh. I guess she doesn't want it. What's the deal with her? I'm not sure what's up with her lately. This isn't the first time this has happened. One time the doctor forgets to issue a new prescription, and another time she brings me an expired one instead of the new one. She isn't exactly the brightest, but this is unusual even for her. So what did you want to know? As I said, this isn't about this is about an ongoing police investigation. You reported seeing something yesterday evening, and any information you could have you have could help. Can you tell me exactly what happened? Of course. This was after I came back from my second job, so around two or three in the morning. It was dark and I couldn't make out much, but the police requested that anything unusual be reported. And what did you see? There was a human like figure walking away from the production facility. It seemed to be in a hurry too. And you're and you're sure this was a human? Unmistakably so. I couldn't make out any details, though. Honestly, if you were the figure, I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. What did you do when you saw it? Nothing. I was on my way home, and it was a little unusual. But I wouldn't have bothered to mention it under normal circumstances. Only did it because of the police's request for witnesses. Do you know what direction the person went? One second. It'll be easier to draw a sketch for you. That'd be great. Thanks. He grabbed a piece of paper and drew on it with a thick felt tip pen. Here. This is the east entry to the facility, and this is where they went. So away from the main district? Well, I guess so. Okay, that'll be all. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Phew, it's getting late. Better head to the police station now. Do I have everything? Alright, let's see what Sebastian will say to this. There you are, Keegan. Oh, shh. So Sebastian didn't die this time. Oh god, who got gunned down? It seems you've taken a liking to Bryce's chair. Maybe I could get used to this. Don't tell Bryce, though. By the way, good job calling the police when you heard Reza. It's too bad he got away again, but maybe a witness will come forward and we'll find out what happened. Now let's take a look at what you've got for me. The witness report for, from Anna is good. Nothing new to us, but it's nice to have her statement in writing. The statement from the store clerk is interesting. We've had a few, we've had a few reports. We've had a few reports of Reza since he went into hiding, so this is very helpful. It's another confirmation of his involvement in this whole matter. You did a great job today, Keegan. The police department is glad to have you on our side. You did well in the third investigation. Investigus. I do what I can. I know, but your help is greatly appreciated, believe me. Especially since we're so short on staff right now. I'll be all for today. I'll contact you if we need anything. Of course. By the way, I found an Ximen sphere in the park a while ago and was told to hand it over to you. Oh yes, those things are really expensive. I'm sure the owner will greatly appreciate it if they get, the, if they get it back. I dug into my pockets only to realize that the X-Men sphere was still resting on the table in my apartment. Oh, looks like I don't have it on me. If it is registered, you only need to turn it turn it on. Turn it on, you should be able to find out who it belongs to. I already tried that, but I think it's out of battery. Maybe we could find you a charging base then. Actually, we have one in our lost and found box. Bryce keeps it somewhere around here. Let me check. One second now, water time. All right, y'all, we are back into it, all right? <clears throat> he got up and over to one of the tables. He picked up a box from under it and returned to me. There it is. Let's see. He rummaged around the box for a bit. That's strange. It's not here. I remember seeing it when I came in today, so he must have thrown it out earlier. Right before we actually needed it. To be fair, it's been in there for quite a while. No one's going to miss those tail bands that, I have, that have been in there for a few weeks either. But if he was going to throw it out, it might still be in the bin. And the plot thickens. He cocked his head to the side. We both peered into the trash can, the trash can that was next to the table, but it was empty. I'm sorry to disappoint you. This is an emotional roller coaster. If you came in a few hours ago, we might have still had it. I mean, well, it's no big deal. I guess I'll just have to hold on to the X-Men sphere for a bit longer. All right, I'll have to get back to work now. We'll contact you if we need anything else. Sure, take care. You too. All right. The X Men's Fair. Finally, a free day. What should I do? 
Looks like there's some messages in the answering machine. Let's see. It's payday, Keegan. The tests are ready, the machines are ready, the lab is free. Only one more thing is needed to get this party started, and that would be you. So you better bring your body to me or else have to come get it myself, in which case I won't be able to guarantee your safety. Hope you aren't afraid of needles. She's gonna go all out, isn't she? Yep, alright. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go to Bangtown. Population, me and Anna. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. There you are. I was wondering if you'd even show up. I want to miss an opportunity to meet you. A glutton for punishment, huh? Not that I mind. Follow me, please. So, what exactly is this room? It's our testing room for research on live subjects. And what exactly do you test here? You'll see that soon enough. I intend to use this facility to its fullest potential. I see. Let's start with this one. Well, what's that? I can get a good look at your bone structure, muscle groups, and organs with this. For the finer details, we'll need a different machine. Would you please lie down here? Of course. Before we start, can I ask you about your qualifications? You can trust me. I'm a doctor. What kind of doctor? Well, Doctor of Pharmacy is the only title I currently hold, but I know how to operate this machinery. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence. You think I let an opportunity like this go to waste by not doing my research? I'll have you know that I'm very qualified to perform these tests, if you say so. Now, please try not to move too much while this is running. And how long will that be? Good question. I suppose we'll see soon enough. And what do we do now? Just wait until it's over? What do you want me to do? Dance for you so you don't get bored? I'm sure you wouldn't, but I'm afraid I don't provide those kinds of services. You know, when I heard that something happened at the facility, I thought it might i thought it might have been you. It's quite something, isn't it? You know, if I stayed as late as I used to, it might have been, been me instead of Damien. And it's only because you told me not to stay so late, stay late so often that I, was, that I wasn't there that night. Still, somebody died. I'm not crying over that bastard. Alright, you can move again. Does that mean I'm done? That's a good one. We're just getting started. What about the results? Don't hold your breath. It'll be processing for some time, and the resulting data will be so vast that I'll probably end up studying it for days. Let's collect some samples now. Where should I start? Wherever you like. Show me your claws. That would be my fingernails, in my case. I suppose you're right. It would be insulting to call those thin little things of yours claws. They'd probably break off before you could even make use of them in any practical way. Just one more way nature gave us the short end of the stick. So, which part would be fine for me to cut off? Uh, take a piece from the white part. The rest you, you can see is attached to the finger. Hold still, then. Don't cut off too much. Don't worry. I need to put it under a microscope. Oh, goodness. Like now. There we go. There. Was that so bad? Do you want me to put a bandage on your little boo-boo? Uh. <laughs> oh, I guess with the right training, I can make something out of you after all. And what now? Now, now it'll go right under the microscope. She got up and sat down at a table. Intently, Anna stared at a device while messing around with the nail clipping. Let's see. Putting your finger under a microscope is something we used to do in middle school. Quiet, please. There's a scientist at work here. Okay. Hmm. The structure looks a bit like keratin. Because it is. Well, well, I thought much of a surprise, really. Keratin is the substance that forms the claws on its dragons and most of the animals here. This as far as mammals, reptiles, and birds are concerned. So, why you'd retain the structure but not do anything useful with it is beyond me. And it gets better. They grow continuously, so they need to be cut regularly. What happens if you don't cut them? They just keep growing. How much can they keep growing? Uh, pretty much indefinitely. Do they get thicker at least, or what else happens when they grow? They just get longer. What a hassle. So, how long are you planning on keeping me here? Getting impatient already? I'm just saying our date didn't take all that long, and you mentioned you mentioned you already have days worth of data from that machine. Well, we never specified any terms, and I set out our date until it was officially over. This will certainly go by much quicker if you can show a little patience. Is kind of complaining. 
I don't complain. I just point out errors. Besides, heh, I'd be empress, not just a queen. By the way, how do you feel about needles? Glad to hear that. You'll need to remove some layers for the next part. What are you gonna do? These are just some electrodes, and I'll measure you also measure your brain activity with one of those helmets. Alright. There you go. What is it now? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!